warm welcome to all you listeners who've just tuned in. You're listening to the sizzling sounds of Lego City Radio. And let me tell you that the forecast for today is hot, hot, hot. two years since I was sent away, but it made me a better cop, a smarter, faster cop. Ah, so what brings you back here, Chase McCain? An old acquaintance, a promise to keep, a debt of honor to be repaid. I meant business or pleasure. I have to fill in your paperwork. Maybe neither. Maybe both. Yeah, I really do have to tick one of the boxes. Whoa! Don't worry, I'll buff right out. My love will go on! And with the skill of an old sea dog, I slide her smoothly into port. What brings you to Lego City, young lady? Uh, this boat? Oh, fiddle pants! Mayor Gleason. Thank you so much for coming back, Chase. I know it can't have been easy for you. I had to get a new passport. I was referring to you leaving under a cloud, but okay. I'll get straight to the point. Rex Fury has escaped and is at large in Lego City. What? Is Natalia okay? Natalia's fine. She's still in witness protection. I have to speak to her. I'll get you her number. But if you really want to protect Natalia, find Rex Fury and bring him to justice. Again. Chase, this city is in the grip of a crime wave. Really? Yes. Look. Hey! And I'm certain Rex Fury is behind it. You're the only person I trust to stop him, Chase. Get to the station and get me Rex Fury. to get in trouble for that.
Hey! Do you need help with those donuts? No, I'm okay, thanks. I'm Frank Honey, by the way. Chase. Chase McCain. Chase McCain? Legend! Is it true that you brought down Rex Fury? Mm, just part of the team. Deputy Dunby made the actual arrest. And I'm not a legend. I'm an ordinary cop. Just like you, honey. Whoa! <laughs> well, maybe not just like you. So, you want to show me around this new station of yours? It would be my honor! I will wait for you! Inside. Okay! Hello? Natalia. Chase? Yeah, it's me. Are you okay? Charged! What do you think you're doing? You can't call me! I'm in witness protection! <gasps> witness protection? I was worried. Rex is out. I thought he might come after you. I know, but he's not after me. The chief of police himself told me that Rex fled the city. What? The mayor just told me he was still here. What? Should I? Uh, yeah. Oh! I just want to make sure you're safe. You're the reason I got into this mess in the first place. Where are you? I'm not telling you that. Natalia, Natalia Smith, Smith to Mercy, to Mercy Hearts, Hearts reception, reception, please. Mercy Hearts Hospital? No! Yes. But don't bother coming here, because if Rex could come after me, then I'm not sticking around. <laughs> Rex. Frank. Are you sure that's safe, Frank? Of course it's... <laughs> oh. Hey there. This is our main computer. It doesn't usually smoke like this. It got hacked into this morning. Triggered a security alert and locked down the elevator, but it only blew up when Frank tried repairing it. With a hammer! Main computer operational. Security lockdown lifted. Elevator functionality restored. Eh, not bad. I'll try and find out who hacked it. Oh, if you get stuck, I'll help you. I know everything about computers. Computers. Yes, computers. Basement time! So, until we find the camera, we have to take mug shots by... Fine, Madam Mayor. I'll brief the officers on Rex, but I still say he's long gone from here. Meddling fool, making me hire some specialist she's brought in from overseas. Chase McCain? Dunby! You're the new police chief? Ugh. Right. I might not like giving you a job, McCain, but it does mean you have to follow my orders. First one! Get down to the basement and get a uniform on! Are you two old friends? Honey, did you put those essential supplies on my desk? Yes, Chief! I'm going to my office. I'll be giving a briefing on Rex Fury in ten minutes, even though he's probably a million miles away from here by now. Do not disturb me! Wow. Yeah, he does seem in a better mood today. Come on, let's get you a uniform. This is our basement. I'll give you a tour. Eh. Eh. 
Chuck's vehicle request desk is in there. When you start, they only let you use one type of car. But if you're good at your job, you'll be able to get loads more! Yeah. How many types do you have, Frank? Well, we should probably move on now. The lift up to those rooms is out of action. Chuck says it's for our own safety because a monster lives up there. Ha <laughs> <laughs> A monster. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't let it eat me. Uh, sure, Frank. What's behind this door? Oh, we'll come back to here. It's special. Come on, let's find you a uniform. We had a delivery this morning, so there should be one somewhere. Oh. When I started, I had to use a hand-me-down from another officer. I looked pretty good in a dress. Check inside those boxes. Why is it that all furniture is self-assembly these days? Uniform? I'll show you the special place. It's the requisitions desk. <sighs> I hope Ellie's in. <sighs> Come in. Ellie, you in there? Is that you, Frank County? Give me a minute. This is the requisitions desk and evidence locker. The girl who runs it is called Ellie Phillips. Hey there! <gasps> oh, I had no idea you were in. You just spoke to me. Hi there. I'm Chase. Yeah, it's the guy you told me about. Chase McCain! Well, it's nice to meet you, Chase McCain. My Uncle Duke told me all about you, and that Rick's Fury case a few years back. Oh, yeah? Don't worry. There's a few of us in the station know you did all the real work on it. Phew. <clears throat> this is a police communicator. It does everything your old phone did, and a whole lot more. Including keeping me up to date with what you're doing. You'll need to connect it to the main computer in the lobby before you can use it. You think you can help Chase do that for me, honey? Uh, uh. Good boy. And I'll give you a call once you're hooked up, Chase. Sorry, I've got some evidence from a robbery at a bakery to file away. If I don't, the chief will eat it. This way, Chase! There you are! Go on! Use the main computer! Communicator connected. Updating. 1% complete. <sighs> Progress Whoa. bars. Hey, Frank. Someone needs to wake the chief up. <sighs> I work too hard. Well, I'm not waking him up. He'll fire me again. Eh, I didn't want to get briefed on Rex Fury anyway. You still got the key to his office? It's right here in my hand, isn't it? No. Oh, then I've lost it? 100% complete. I'll help you find it. The sooner he's awake, the sooner I can start doing actual police work. Thanks! I think I lost it upstairs! 
I hope the chief notices that I changed my hair today. It'll make being bald all last week worthwhile. Hey, Chase! You got the communicator working! Yeah, but now I have to help Frank find a key he lost. No problem. I updated the software on your communicator and enabled its scanner. Its scream will show you stuff you wouldn't be able to see otherwise. Like ghosts! <laughs> I told you, that was your reflection, Frank. Thanks, Ellie. I'll never forget his weird, googly eyes. <sighs> If you're looking for donuts, then they're in the chief's office. You're gonna wake up the chief? Okay. After you're done with that, I've got a hornet's nest that needs whacking with a stick. <laughs> I wanna do that! I've done it before. Although I thought that one was a pinata. But it wasn't. Because the candy made my mouth hurt. That was the worst birthday ever. I wanna make captain by the time I'm 40. Hey! You found it! I'll let you wake him up. I've got some important work to do. Let's see. Video game Cause time! Cause of accident. Culprit. If you're looking for donuts, then they're in the chief's office. Well, they were. Come on. You have to give the briefing. Wake up! <laughs> Don't wanna. Okay. Then let's try a really loud noise. He won't hear you if you knock on the door. He's a really deep sleeper. Oh, who's that? Oh, I, I was just resting my eyes and my arms and my legs. Oh, uh, it's you again. Fine. Briefing room! One minute! Hey, Harry! How many coffees have you had? Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Did I have six shots, or only five? Well... Okay, you've had enough. Right. I'm gonna take this from the top. The mayor thinks we should be looking for this man, Rex Fury. He's a giant! Rex somehow escaped from Albatross Island three months ago, although we still have no idea how, but that's not important. What is important is that you can't jump. So make a note of that! Now, Rex Fury has been a habitual criminal since he was six years old. Good heavens! At that age, he would have still been in preschool. Elementary, my dear fellow. <laughs> we got our break when a secret witness came forward. Well, secret until somebody accidentally gave their identity away. <laughs> Natalia's testimony enabled us to arrest Rex. He tried getting away, but foolishly chose a lawnmower as his escape vehicle. Pull the lawnmower over! His other mistake was in doubting the ability of the man who finally arrested him! Me! If Rex is behind the crime wave, then he needs to be back behind bars. So, to help catch whoever's behind it, I've had security cameras installed at key locations. The museum, Forrest Blackwell's mansion, and, of course, the banks. What the? <laughs> Briefing's over! Everyone get to the bank! Oh, uh, just one more thing, Chief.
You ready to fight some crime, Chase? Remember, even though there's a crime in progress, we still have to drive responsibly. Of course. Last one there has to buy all the Chiefs donuts for a month. Hey, Chase, I've updated your communicator again and turned on the navigation system. You can use it to find your way around Lego City. I've marked the location of Cherry Tree Bank on it with a police shield. That's perfect. Now just follow the green line and it'll take you straight there. Chase? Yes, honey? I've gone the wrong way. Can we call that bet off, please? down.
insurance is gonna skyrocket. on the flip side, mister. Stop! Please! Stop in the name of the law! Stop! You won't get away with this. The crooks run this town now. Not for much longer. Chase, can you give me an update? Yep, I just arrested the getaway driver. Great work! And good timing, because we just had a report from someone near the Red Cafe. They spotted a clown heading onto its rooftop. Could be one of our bad guys. Either that, or I'm about to ruin some kid's birthday party. I'm on my way. Now, where did I put my police issue whistle? Ooh, one blow of that should get the traffic to stop for me. Can I get your attention? Is anyone here a bank robbing clown? Oh, well, I didn't think it would be that easy. I better check in with Ellie. Ellie, there's no sign of a clown up here. Don't worry. I've just updated your communicator's scanning software. Use it to have a look around from the restaurant's rooftop and it'll show up anyone nearby who might be a robber. And then? You arrest them?
let's get to making this gray old place a little more pretty. <laughs> oh, that's more like it. Beautiful, even if I do say so myself. <laughs> Officer? Whoa! Almost got me there, mister. Na 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 na. What you doing down there, eh? Oh, can't you get up He's here? Do I know it's creepy. A robber? <laughs> can't you jump this high? You're making it very. Woohoo! See ya! <laughs> hey, Jack! Why do you climb this here beanstalk? <laughs> oh, sorry! I busted it! <laughs> Come out with your paws up. Oh, dang it. Stop in the name of the law. Quit running after me. I'm an innocent clown. Stop, please. You'll never catch me. What? Right. We can do this the easy way, or the hard way. Um, I'll take the easy way. I heard one of the other guys say he was gonna jump on a cargo ship if the robbery went bad. So, do I get a nice sell now? Uh, sure. Wow, that really was the easy way. Hey. Chase, did you find the robber? Your timing is uncanny. Yep, he's in custody. It looks like one of the other robbers is at the docks. You want to arrest that guy too? Nah, uh, let me just check my calendar. Give me a call once you got him. Police business! Where did they come from?
Ah, oh, great. How am I gonna get in there? Whoa, hey, uh, officer. Can you do me a solid? I need to get that gate open. It would be my pleasure. Great. Follow me. Excuse me, can you tell me how I get onto that cargo ship? Easy. I just whistle and Larry and the crane will give you a lift. Great. Which I will gladly do once my lunch break is over. Okay. Which will be never, because a lousy seagull stole my sandwich. I'll go and find it for you. You'll know it's my sandwich, as it's approximately the size of a sandwich. If it has cucumber in it, then it is not my sandwich! If it has sausage and jelly in it, then it is my sandwich! Give me that sandwich, you flying rat! It looks a bit gross. My <laughs> Larry! Give this guy a lift onto the ship! Sure thing, boss! Police! Not just any police. I'm on a roll today. Stop! Or I will Out keep running after way. you! After you. You mind if we run through a grocery store on the way? I gotta pick up some soda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 